Hi guys, welcome back to Begna Tech Is. In this video, I'm going to discuss about container with most water problem. Right? So this is the element problem of fleet code, and the level of this problem is PTM. Okay. So let us first understand the problem statement, then we can discuss about the solution approach. Okay. So here um, an integer array height of length is given, right? And there are n vertical lines. There are n vertical lines drawn such that the two endpoints of the ith line are i0 and i height i. Okay. Find two lines that together with the x axis from a container. Okay. Such that the container contains the most water. Return the maximum amount of water a container can store. So we have to return the maximum amount of water. Notice that you may not slant the container. So client container should not be slant. So let's go through the example first so that we can get better clarity. Right? So here uh, height is given. These are the height of containers. And this is already draw. We can see this picture, right? Here we have this x-axis and y-axis. So uh, based on this input, we have to get the 49 as an output. If you see here, the above vertical lines are represented by array 18624 In this case, the max area of water blue section the container can contain is 49. This is the max area of water which container can contain, right? So this area we have to find out. This area we have to find out. So let's see this example. Height is given one and one. The output will be one, right? Okay. So let me uh, draw this example over here so that we will get better clarity. Okay. So already I have uh, created the same graph over here. So if you see, we have already this, right? So this is the area which contain max water right this is the area is containing max water our main goal is to find out the maximum amount of water the container can store right this is our uh, primary goal and here one more condition is given like so find two lines that together with the x axis from a container such that the container contains the most water okay so here if we see this is the sorry okay right so this is the container with height 8 and this is the container with height 7 right so we have to find out the containers which are having most amount of water and here this condition two lines that together with the excess from a container so the container contains the most water so in this case we, we can see this is the area which mean we, we have to look right so if we think this so what we have to do here, our calculation logic will be, calculation logic will be, height of container into, into, container distance right so these are the distance x axis if we see here okay so this is d1 this is d2 okay so this this will be our calculation logic okay so we have to iterate over the heights of container so so like what could be the possible approach to solve this problem this is our calculation logic this is fine so but uh, which technique should we go through to solve this problem okay 
So in this case, we can think about the two pointer technique. Two pointer technique. Right. So this two pointer technique generally for two pointer we use this right and the two pointers we use and this should be the height of length minus one right so if we see this here in this case left is zero and right is what right is so what is the uh, size of this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the right is 8 okay so we have to check first we have to find out the minimum height okay check the mean height of container and second step we have to find the breadth we have to find the distance between container okay so in this case the distance between container is what right minus left right distance between container And third is, so we have to find out this mean height and then, and here we have to apply this calculation logic, this one. So height of container, whatever, height of container into this one, right minus left. This will be our logic. So we can simply iterate this loop. And here, as per our uh, as per our two pointed technique problem solving template, we can simply use this. Here we can put our calculation logic. Right. So this way we can solve this problem. Okay. So let's solve this problem on lead code. Right. So let's write the code over here. Okay. So here first I will define two pointers. Int left is equal to zero. Int right is equal to what? Height into length minus one. Right. Here I will start one loop. Left less than right okay so in this loop i will calculate mean height is equal to math dot mean so height left height right And then I will calculate current area is equal to right minus left into min height. Right now, here I will define one variable here max area. Mm, yeah max area is fine so integer dot min underscore value right so the max area would be math dot max max area 
max area so max area would be is equal to mat dot max max area comma mm, this one current area right so if height of the height of lift greater than height of right so in this case we will reduce the right point else will increase left point and here we will return the max area so let me run this solution so the output is 49 yeah so both the test cases are passed let me submit this solution right so here the solution is uh, submitted successfully all the test cases are passed and it took around 4 ms only right so with the help of 2.0 technique we are able to get the solution in o of n only without using any extra space so space complexity is o of 1 only right so in the uh, next couple of video we will solve some more problem based on 2.0 technique thank you for watching see you bye bye